In this video, I want to give you a few tips on installing a NVR or a network video recorder. If you're installing a NVR or any other kind of video recorder for CCTV, it makes a lot of sense to put it in a cabinet like this. There have been quite a lot of thefts over the years where they've broken into properties, they've robbed the house or the building, and then they've actually stolen the NVR, which contains the video evidence. Obviously, you want to make it as difficult as possible for people. So in this metal enclosure, we have the NVR, and you can see that I've made that bracket there, so I can actually put a decent padlock on there. And it also locks using that special key in these two positions. The beauty of doing this is that if somebody does break in the property and tries to steal the NVR with all the evidence on, it makes it a much more difficult job for them. Firstly, they have to find this, which in this case is up in the loft. And then secondly, they need to be able to move the padlock and the locks, etc., which is gonna take a lot of time. I would also like to point out that the cameras that I've installed do actually take an SD memory card as well. So even if this is stolen, the actual evidence will still be on the SD card in the camera itself. So this is a second hand cabinet and we did have to drill a few of the holes a bit larger and put some blanking plugs in some of the holes. You can get these at scrap yards and also you may be able to get one off Gumtree etc or even at a car boot sale. Unless it's also put a magnet on there, that means that we can lift that up and it will safely hold the lid up in position. So in this cabinet, in the corner there, we've got the extension lead. That goes directly to the UPS. So in the event of a power cut, this will actually still work for about 45 minutes. That's the NVR itself, which is a network video recorder. That is actually connected to the home network. And then at the back there, we have the eight cameras plugged into the RJ45 sockets. At the side there, we have an additional four terabyte hard drive. And you will also notice that the equipment is sat on a large aluminium heat sink, which came out of a large industrial light. So once you've set this up, you can actually operate it all remotely via the network, or you can do what I've done and you can extend the cables. So I have an extra long HDMI cable going to the monitor in my office, and I also have an extra long mouse cable. Once this is actually locked up, you may think that it's going to be difficult to do anything to it, and in some instances it is. For example, if there's a power cut, I do need to open this up to switch the hard drive back on the external one. But everything else can be done remotely from my office. On the end of the panels where the holes are, I've actually put in brass bushes and that will protect the cables. Obviously, if you are installing CCTV, you do want to make it as difficult as possible for anybody that is going to rob the property. So putting the NVR or the video recorder in a enclosure like this makes a lot of sense because it does make it a lot more difficult for them. I hope you found this video useful. If you have and you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel.